Good evening and welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl joined by Alex Lord. A ton of brave stuff and we're going to start off with the positives and the one massive positive is Marcella Zuna and it's almost funny you know before the year I talked about who's going to be the biggest disappointment for the Braves and I pegged Marcella Ozuna but listen that's not necessarily a knock it means you have expectations for a guy the guy's coming off a 40 100 RBI season the first by far the best offensive season of his entire career and I said hey could he possibly is there any way he could live up to what he did the way he ended the last five months of last season and what he's doing now is even better. I mean, the guy's sniffing a 1,200 OPS. He hits the walk-off homer. He comes six inches away on Sunday from having a three-home run game in Miami. He already has seven homers, which I believe has to be – I didn't check it, but it has to be either tied or for the lead league. If you look at the last calendar year, he has 45 homers in less than a calendar year. If he hits five more over the next three weeks, that's 50 home runs in a calendar year. And this is a guy who had never had really more than, I think, 32, 33 home runs in his career before he put up 40 last year. So it's not like he was this incredible power hitter. The 180 he's done, the clutch hits he's done, the way he's taking pitches, The I think the pitch that he hit out yesterday in the ninth inning was a breaking ball down and in. Must, I mean, just absolutely smokes it out of there. I mean, if this wasn't in Miami or in the Marlins ballpark, which is a bigger ballpark, he has three homers yesterday and he's at nine on the season. I mean, and I, I said it before he came up. I was like, if Marcel gets up in the ninth inning, like he's going to win this game. I mean, he's the one guy that I'm like right now, like he can hit anything. And he hits the three on homer and you're almost in your jaw. Your jaw hits the floor. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah. The Braves two best hitters, you know, over the course of a season that you would think, you know, probably Ronald Kenny Jr. And Austin Riley and combined, they have two home runs. Ronald doesn't even have one. Uh, and they have like a 110 WRC plus, and they're still nine and five. Correct me if I'm wrong, nine and five. Um, and then a lot of that has to do with Marcel Zuna. Uh, you know, whether regardless of the situation, the bro, the Braves stuck with him throughout the trials and tribulations on and off the field. And he has rewarded them in spade. I mean, this, this, what this guy has done, first of all, should have won the silver slugger award last year uh, in the NL for the DH. I feel like they just gave it to Bryce Harper because yes, he had a great season, but also he's Bryce Harper. Um, and Marcel, if you go look at their stats head to head, Marcel Azuna had a better year for OPS, WRC plus every like league average metric. He was better than Bryce Harper. And Bryce Harper uh, also played like half of his season. He's at first base. And <laughs> and he's continued that. Like Marcel Zunio is, is like 20, 20, uh, 2021 Ronald O'Connor Jr. He's like almost single-handedly keeping this Braves lineup alive. Uh, he's had a little bit more help than Ronald did that past year. But it, it's absolutely incredible to turn around. And not even the, the biggest optimist. I mean, me and Chase sat here during that struggle, that May calendar year where we're like, give it more time, give it more time. And, and the biggest reason for that – us preaching the patience was because the rest of the lineup was just hitting the piss out of the ball. We were winning games like nothing. It, there was no worry. We weren't like keeping our head above 500 where we needed the the production of the DH. We had time to give Marcel to kind of have him figure it out. And, it, and he's rewarded the Braves even more than I think the Braves thought he was capable of. Like he is outperforming I mean, their own ex, maybe even his own expectations. Yeah, no, I mean, Absolutely no one saw this coming. I mean, this isn't just uh this is a out of nowhere, out of left field. This isn't just Marcelo Zuna becoming the Marcelo Zuna that the Braves thought he signed, the Marcelo Zuna <laughs> before better. the contract. This is the best version of Marcelo Zuna there's ever been over a calendar year, and it's not even particularly close. I mean, this is a legitimate guy. I mean, I'm not joking about these stats. Like five home runs, and who is who here is betting against Marcelo Zuna to get five home runs in the next three weeks right now? <laughs> it almost seems like a virtual guarantee. I mean, that is a 50 home run place. I mean, you, I can count on my hand the number of players in the MLB that have hit 50 home runs over a calendar year. And Marcelo Zuna, even before, even when he was playing well with the Cardinals and the Marlins, I, I'm pretty sure his career high in home runs was 33 before last year in a single season. He is about to hit 50 in a calendar year. I mean, the it, it goes beyond just, oh, we hope this guy can come back and and be at least some sort of contributor. He's one of the best offensive players in baseball for a yeah. calendar year. And, and I keep waiting for this slump because he's always been kind of a streaky hitter. 
But when you have a whole year of data of him just slugging like this, who's to say it's not sustainable? Because let's be honest, the Braves have made guys better at every turn. Every single player that comes through this organization seems to be the best version themselves. And it seems like Marcelo Zuna is next in line. And you can point to Kevin Seitzer. You can point to the lineup around him and having all that offense. And you can also point to him. As much as everyone loves Marcelo Zuna, he loves everyone else in that. He's in a place that he's comfortable and really enjoys playing. You can tell it. He, he's hotter than hell. I mean, anyone that throws him a pitch in the strike zone better have their head down and turn around <laughs> looking at the wall right now because the ball's flying out of there at 105 plus miles per hour every single time he steps in the box. And this is a guy who couldn't hit a baseball <laughs> a year ago. Yeah, he was batting under 70 uh, last May. Uh, and, and obviously the turnaround is, um, you know, quite remarkable in terms of production. But the turnaround within the organization in terms of PR, like the fans, obviously your on-field performance is always going to be the driving factor in how fans view you. You could be the biggest butthead in the world, but if you're performing, fans will overlook those transgressions and just love you. But I think Ozuna, regardless of the production, has done a 180 with the fan base just because of like everybody in the locker room loves him literally everybody he's beloved in that locker room and he's clearly taken steps off the field to kind of further improve his life in those areas and it's showing like you improve one facet of your life other areas uh tend to benefit and i think you know obviously the on-field turnaround is spectacular but the off the field turnaround is just as remarkable in my opinion yeah i mean let's hope the off the field stuff continues to turn around he learns how to take an uber and stuff <laughs> like that but i mean I, seriously no i i completely agree with you i mean there's going to be people that ne will never forgive marcelo zuna for what he did and that's your right i i completely right. understand because what he did was wrong but you know if you go in, dig a little deeper you see the stuff he does off the field with the fans with fans kids i, I saw the other day he went out yep. and met with some kids who had had a sign for him he does a lot of stuff you know where it's like this guy it seems like he's a good guy you want to believe in second chances you want to believe he's changed and obviously he's changed on the field you hope it's the case off the field and at least it looks that way and I agree I think the majority 90 percent of the fan base has you know done a 180 on him and, and is rooting for him not just on the field but off the field right. to get better and I think that's important and I think that's something that he appreciates, and I think that's all part of this comfortability level that you're seeing with him and why he's performance, performing at the highest level, and he makes this Braves lineup that was already really good, really uh -huh. good, like you said, without him when he was hitting 080, almost unstoppable, and this is without Sean Murphy, too. I mean, this team is hitting close to 300 as a team, leads the league in OPS, leads the league in doubles. It, Ronald hasn't even hit a home run yet, yeah. and they're still doing all this. It, you know, it, it's impressive and you, you got to tip your cap, but it just speaks to the depth of this Braves lineup and congrats to him. I mean, it's really good to see.